I'm concerned about water. Water is uh, the most informal element and represents chaos. And what I'm doing is bringing this into a human orders and my order number is seven because this place is called in Roman times Septem Fontes and in French times <coughs> Sept Fontaine from which the Aachen dialogue dialect made Zephent. So the place here is called Zephent. There are seven fountains. You know, seven has always been one of the most interesting numbers. Seven is the number of uh, life totality as a sum of three and four. Three is the soul determined by the Trinity of God, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit and four as the four directions of the heaven. Seven is in psychology since the time of John Locke the number of objects which you can remember after having seen them for a very short time. You wouldn't remember eight objects or nine, you just would remember seven. And it's seven days in the week and God created the world in seven days and our head has seven openings and we have seven senses containing balance and orientation. Water in its substance contains all these ordering systems but we cannot recognize them in water and therefore water has always been an element of legends populated by nymphs and nereids and gods before the Greek philosopher Thales in the 6th century before Christ demythologized water in making it the basis of the philosophy. And philosophy, all what we think about it, starts with uh, water. And uh, you might think that a water, the earth is not a spheric globe, but a water drop. Now Thales stood on this borderline between mythology and uh, science. And on this borderline all these animals of an animated world had to die in order to get numbers and water got the number H2O and we dominate water now to such a degree that pure water has become very rare and these seven fountains for me represent those places where you still find clear water and I put my face up with the water surface looking into the water like Narcissus and I don't find me 
anymore. And uh, I think I would like to die in water, dissolve myself into water. <laughs>